Alright guys, today we are doing a big out and about uh, because there's a lot of movies on sale I noticed at Best Buy. That's where we're heading up to right now. And um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I want to get. A lot of Blu-rays, 4Ks and whatnot all on sale which is pretty kick-ass uh, for some really good prices man so that's where we're heading up to right now we're gonna get that best buy deals man there's also a lot of uh, other areas as well uh, for department stores and whatnot we got Target over there it's all good But yeah, it's kind of early in the morning, as of right now, when I'm filming, it's 10, like 20 after 10, and um, yeah, I was like, you know what, let's go after these deals, because a lot of them are damn good. They're on the cheap today, people. We're almost there. There she is. There's that Best Buy. Hell yeah, man. So anyways, yep, we're doing a big pickup video today. It's going to be kick-ass. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting a lot of movies. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, collections that I need to complete, so I'm not passing on the deals. Anyways, I'm going to go in there. We'll see you guys inside. A lot of movies. Yeah, that's for sure. At Best Buy. A lot of stuff. You got a Charles Bronson here. Four, four pack, four movie collection here. Not bad. Hard Times. That's a that's a good one. Alright guys, so I am now back home with my uh, movie pickups here from Best Buy. Um, I would say that this was a very good score. Um, heck yeah man, everything that I picked up today was on sale for damn good prices. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, Blu-rays, I got a bunch of 4Ks, I uh, even got a DVD. Um, let's see, I think I got like close to... 30 films uh, in this uh, pickup video here and uh, this is kick-ass man cuz every one of these was dirt cheap you know most of the blu-rays were like five bucks a piece the 4k movies were only like 15 bucks or less a piece and so all in all this was a damn good score and a pretty big score I would say uh, it's been a while since I've done a big movie uh pickup here um but anyways i guess uh let's get into it let me show you what i got a lot of these i haven't even seen yet and all the films that i picked up man i went all the way back ranging from like i want to say the 80s all the way up so i got a really good variety but anyways let's get into it show you what i got first up here we got Sicario Day of the Soldado. I think I said that right. Soldado. Uh, this is the Blu ray DVD combo here, which is. Uh, I got the first one, so, and I don't have the second one. The first one was good. I haven't seen this one yet, but it looks really good. There's some of the special features. And this was only five bucks, so I was like gotta get it so that's number one on the list next we picked up the equalizer 2 uh, with Denzel Washington this was another one I got for five bucks uh, got the first one the first one's pretty good the second one here I haven't seen 
um, but it looks good. And I like uh, Denzel Washington's films, most of his movies, you know. Hell yeah. So it looks like it's got quite a bit of special features here and whatnot, which is cool. Um, haven't seen this one yet. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen this one. And did you like it? Over an hour of action-packed extras. Same thing with the Sicario, the second one. Let me know if you've seen it and if uh, if it's if you like it. Is it any good? Next up here we got Independence Day uh, two movie collection. So of course you get Independence Day and then Independence Day. Uh, the second one here, Resurgence, um, it includes both the theoretical and unrated version of the first Independence Day. Uh, usually this was going for like 18 bucks, but this was on sale for 8 which breaks it down to 4 bucks a movie. I had the first one on DVD. Uh, didn't had didn't have the second one, so I definitely wanted to upgrade. And for eight bucks, I mean, this is a, a no-brainer. So we got Will Smith. Um, I've seen both movies. They're they're pretty good. Nothing off the wall great, um, but they're good. What not? Heck yeah. So for eight bucks, man, you can't go wrong. Next up here we got War for the Planet of the Apes. This is the um, Blu-ray plus DVD uh, limited edition steel book that's only at Best Buy. And I have to say, this is a sweet ass steel book. I really like that. Heck yeah. And this one was on sale for only 10 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I, I got to pick it up. I haven't never seen it. And I have the other two. And the other two were really good. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen this one. And if it holds up like the other two. Oh, yeah. So we get uh, quite a few special features here and whatnot. Which is really cool. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, man. Yeah, the other two films were kick-ass, so I had to pick this up to complete my collection. Moving on. Next up here, we got Mission Impossible Fallout. Tom Cruise. This is his newest one. This is the Blu-ray and DVD plus digital um, copies here, which is pretty good. I got the rest of them, so now my collection is complete. I haven't seen this one yet, but I heard it was really good from the reviews and whatnot. And it was on sale. I was like, you know what? Got to get it to complete my collection. Heck yeah. Also, um, I wanted to let you guys know, before I forget, any digital code that I get, I will be giving them all away. Every single one that comes out of that bag, I'll be giving away on Christmas Day. It's going to be first come, first serve type thing. And I'm not going to label it as digital code giveaway. It's going to be happy holidays or something. That's for my insiders. You know, so that you guys know. You want to come back? You want to be here? Um, Christmas Day. Uh, if you want to get in on all these digital codes, um, keep that in mind. Or better yet, you might want to write that down. Um, because I don't use digital codes. I don't know much about it. Plus, I'm a physical media type person. I prefer physical. So anyways, just giving you a heads up on that. Um, so yeah. We got Mission Impossible, Fallout, Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. I, like I said, I haven't seen this one yet. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Moving on. 
we got ourselves a 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray here of Bumblebee with John Cena. WWE's John Cena. Um, featuring HDR, right on. Uh, I like the Transformer movies. They're pretty good. They're not great. They definitely could have been better. Um, but they're decent. Um, haven't seen this one yet. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Also, guys, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this one. And what you think of it? Does it hold up? I do like, though, from what I've seen in trailers and whatnot, they use the uh, retro um, 80s look for the Transformers, which I love. They should have done that all along, I think, instead of switching it up. But uh, it's cool that uh, they did that for this one and let's take a look a lot of special features there you get the 4k on this one this two's the blu-ray plus the special features so right on and this one was pretty cheap it was only 13 bucks on sale couldn't believe it so I had to pick it up Next up here we got we got a three film collection here. This Resident Evil, the three CG movie collection here. Now I've seen all three of these. Um, I'd have to say my favorite one would be Damnation. Uh, Regeneration came out first, then Damnation, and then Vendetta. Uh, they're all pretty good. Um, Regeneration's all right, nothing great, but Damnation I thought was very good, and Vendetta was also pretty good. It holds up. But this was on sale for only like I think thirteen bucks, so I was like, hell yeah, let me uh, let me pick it up. And there's the original covers here on the back. If you were to buy them individually, um, but yeah been wanting to pick this up but for a while it was it was going for like I think 20 and I was waiting for a sale and sure enough here it is so let me know in the comments below guys do you have a favorite Resident Evil film let me know as far as these ones go next up here we got an old school classic we got the collector's edition to the 80s classic movie man i love this movie um colors uh done by shout select originally it's an mgm film but shout factory got the rights to this and they you know restored it put it on blu-ray and what i was noticing what i really liked as that there's an unrated cut of colors include scenes not released in theaters as well as additional scenes from the international cut that is awesome and you get an interview there and whatnot um, a couple interviews and the regular movie I think ran at like right at two hours and this is uh, two hours and seven minutes so you're getting like seven minutes of extra footage which I haven't seen before so I've seen the movie colors obviously but I haven't seen the unrated stuff so and check this out first for the first time on blu-ray this unrated version of colors includes footage restored from you know the international cut and the original home video cut nice this is part of the shout select series uh, shout factory does a great job man also known as Screen Factory, when they go after these old school films and restore them, add in, you know, special features and whatnot. Uh, I love what they do, man. They, they, they put a lot of heart and passion into this, uh, and whatnot. So I'm very much looking forward to checking out this unrated version of Colors. It's a classic 80s film, man, and this was on sale for pretty cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks. Usually they're going for like 20, 25. Next up here, we got a movie with Janet Jackson and Tupac, man. 
Tupac Shakur, Poetic Justice. Uh, it's a pretty good film. Uh, anything with Tupac, man, I'm I want it. You know, every one of his films I liked, and this one I didn't have. And I've been wanting to pick it up for a little while, but I was waiting for the price to drop. Originally, when this came out, it was like 15. I was able to get it on sale for five. So I was like, hell yeah, now's the time to buy. And what I like here in the special features is there's a never before seen screen tests and deleted scenes. We got 10 never before uh, seen deleted scenes. Janet Jackson and Tupac Shakur's rare original screen test. I want to see that because I've never seen that before. A revisiting Poetic Justice with John Singleton. Um, heck yeah, man. It's a really good movie. And, uh, yeah. Pac's a legend, dude. He's like, in my eyes, he was the, the best rapper of all time. Um, and he was a genius. The, just the things he said in his interviews and whatnot were just like way above and beyond the average person. And it's too bad that he had to die, get killed. And uh, speaking of Tupac, I picked up the next up here is the documentary on DVD, Murder Rap Inside the Biggie and Tupac Murders, um, which, I mean, for all of you who don't know, that uh, they broke the case here. Um, I forgot, Caden, I think his name is Caden, something Caden. Uh, Greg Caden, yeah. He got the confession out of Keefe D um, that, you know, him and Orlando Anderson were in the car and they shot him up, Pac and, and uh, whatnot, and which killed Tupac. So Orlando Anderson did kill Tupac, which was a well-known uh, gang member. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. And whatnot, and uh, I think you know what sucks is we really did lose a legend, man. I've seen this this documentary is on YouTube and it's really good. I didn't even know they had this on DVD, so when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I got to pick it up. It's pretty powerful, and it's just too bad we lost Pac because he's the type of person that could change things because he was so smart, you know. But if you haven't seen this, uh, I highly recommend you pick it up. Yeah, Greg Caden. Yeah, he has a, uh, there's an audio that he, you know, recorded a confession with Keefe D on there confessing to the murder. Um, I just, uh, just fucked up, man. We lost a true legend, man. It pox, just a legend. It's just too bad. Anytime we get somebody who's like extremely fucking smart, we lose them, you know. Who's who thinks way outside the box? But anyways, if you don't have this, I highly recommend you pick it up and uh, whatnot, and definitely watch it. It's powerful ass stuff on Pac, and it also goes into the you know Biggie murder as well. And the one thing that really tripped me out, but didn't surprise me too much, is Puff Daddy was behind Tupac's murder. He had uh, you know was put up the money to have you know Pac and Suge Knight killed but Suge Knight was only grazed I think uh, you know because he was in fear for his life um, at that time it seemed like everybody was you know pretty afraid of Suge Knight so but yeah that's some trippy shit to find out that you know, Puff Daddy had put up the money. But, of course, he's going to deny it because his ass don't want to go to jail or nothing. But he he did it. He had the money put up. Anyways, that's a subject for another time. But, anyways, we're going to get it moving on. But, yeah, we lost a legend, man. Pac's a legend. Anyways, um, moving on, we got Tom Hardy's Venom here on 4K and Blu-ray, guys. And let's see, fully immersed picture and sound, features HDR, high dynamic range, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, 
haven't seen this one yet um, so I'm looking forward to checking it out I was hoping that you know for the home release that they would release like an R-rated version you know because I know at the theaters before it hit the theaters they were deciding on well do they want a PG or do they want it rated R and I was like I, I don't I'm cool either way. I mean, if they do, I was thinking if they did PG, I hope they do an R-rated version for the home media, but they didn't do that. I guess they just kept it PG, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So if you guys seen this one, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Same thing with the uh, murder rap. If you've seen this one, let me know what you think in the comments below and whatnot. Moving on. Next here we got Pacific Rim Uprising. We got the 4K version plus the uh, Blu-ray and digital. I got the first one. So this completes my collection. Haven't seen this one yet. I have seen some of the like battle scenes on YouTube. They look pretty kick-ass. Um, I heard that the 4K transfer on this is pretty good. And the battle scenes are, you know, very good. The story, though, is like so-so. But the battle scenes pretty much make up for it. But yeah, it looks like uh, you get quite a few uh, bonus features. Deleted scenes. Making ofs. And whatnot. Right on. I like these big, over-the-top action movies, man. Heck yeah. So, yeah, I haven't seen this one yet either, so, you know, let me know if you guys seen this, what you think. Pacific Rim. Put these up here. Okay. Next, we got the Men in Black Trilogy. Here with, uh... Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones. Now this was on sale for pretty cheap. It was only like seven bucks. I was like, all right, let's pick her up. I like the Men in Black films. I'm gonna have to say my favorite, I guess, is the original. Uh, two was all right, and three was pretty good. But I think the best one, I guess, I guess I'll go with the original and whatnot. Yep. We got the trilogy. It's too bad they didn't do something a little more with like the background. It's all just black. It'd be, be cool if they would have like, I don't know, added in something. But it's all good. At least we get the uh, original cover artworks in the back. Doesn't say if it's got, you know, special features, but I'm sure whatever special features they had on these discs carried over same things so yep that's the men in black trilogy guys got it on the cheap next up here we got uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom this is the 4k slash blu-ray steelbook this was on sale for pretty cheap and I got all the rest of the films so I was like you know what Let's complete our collection with this one. Haven't seen this one yet, so let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. I've seen the trailer and whatnot, and certain scenes on YouTube look pretty good. I'm sure it's probably just as good as the last one. You know, Chris Pratt. So we got, you know, quite a bit of uh, special features here and whatnot. But hell yeah, man. Steelbook. The Steelbook's alright. I think they could have done something, I don't know, different with it maybe. Make it look better, but it's all good. Next up, we got a action film called By Bust. Now, this is, uh, let's see, Furious and Ultraviolet. I've seen the trailer for this on YouTube, and I was like, man, this looks pretty damn good. It's just loaded up with action. It's one of those, uh, 
I want to say it's like a it's like a Hong Kong movie, but it's not from Hong Kong. It's from somewhere else. But it is English dubbed. We got a making of and a Comic Con panel, which is cool. It looks really cool. It reminds me of like the raid films and whatnot. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, and it got decent reviews. I haven't seen this one yet. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you've seen it. And this was on sale. So I was like, you know what? Let's get it. I'm always up for a good, you know, action movie, man. Any time. Next here. We got 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street with Jonah Hill. Heck yeah, man. I've seen both films. They're pretty good. This was only five bucks. I was like, you know what? Let me get that. Uh, they're pretty good. You can't beat five bucks. It's like two fifty a movie. There's the second one. These both did pretty good at the box office, and both films have Ice Cube in them. And uh, yeah, we got uh, a lot of special features there. Special features there, whatnot. Blu-rays. Heck yeah, man! It's been a little while since I've seen these, but it's cool that they're in this double pack case, which is. Uh, Pretty kick gas. Moving on out. We got another double pack here, guys. We got the Bad Boys 1 and 2 Blu ray uh, double pack here. It says 20th anniversary collection. Um, Bad Boys 2 for the first time on Blu-ray, both fully remastered, and I noticed in the back here something really cool. Um, if I can find it, there it is. The first one here uh, is now fully remastered in 4K, so it got a nice Blu-ray treatment there. And the same thing with the second one, uh, fully remastered in 4K for the first time on Blu-ray. When these uh, came out, I think a couple years ago. I don't know how much these were when they first came out. Probably like 20 bucks or so. Maybe even more. But this was only like 7 So I was like, yeah, let's get them. I've seen the second one at the theaters. It's pretty good. I've seen. It's been a while since I've seen the first one. You know, and whatnot. So yeah, more Will Smith movies. Bad Boys. Bad Boys 2, and uh, I believe they're filming Bad Boys 3. It might actually already be done filmed or something, but I believe they're def that's definitely a go. So, heck yeah, man. Bad Boys 1 and 2. Moving on. So yeah, it's kind of like a Will Smith day. <laughs> I picked up quite a few of his films, you know, you get the Bad Boys, the uh, Independence Day, and the, uh, where are you at, Men in Black. <laughs> Anyways, next up here, we got The Predator, the newest Predator film here in 4K and Blu-ray, guys. Uh, haven't seen this one yet, I know it got mixed reviews and whatnot, but... I figured, yeah, I better pick it up. It was pretty cheap. Deleted scenes. What not. Rated R. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. We've got over an hour of bonus content. Right on. So that's the Predator. That actually completes my uh, collection because I already have the rest of the Predator films. Next up here, we got Deadpool 2 here on 4K and Blu-ray. And it's a four-disc set, which comes with the super-duper cut right on. 
on rated cut with 15 minutes more filling it says and you get also the theoretical version right on man so this one's loaded up with uh, special features and whatnot you get the theoretical and on rated I haven't seen this one um, so let me know in the comments below what you think uh, it looks really good I know it got really good reviews and whatnot I love the first one so heck yeah man I hope they do a third one for sure but yep that completes my collection Deadpool 2 next we got Cliffhanger the old school 90s action film Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone in 4k and blu-ray this um, from what I've seen in the reviews and whatnot, it got a really nice 4K transfer. I never picked this one up on uh, Blu-ray and whatnot. So uh, once I seen it on sale, I was like, yeah, I got to get it. It's a really good 90s action film. And Stallone is uh, my favorite actor of all time. So I was definitely, definitely going to pick it up. So we got special features there. There's commentary by the director and Sylvester Stallone. That's cool. We got deleted scenes. We got featurettes. Right on. And Stallone gets pretty uh, muscled up, you know, in this film. For the beginning part. You know, good, good action film. Yeah, good director, by the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rennie Harlem, yeah, he's a good director. He directed Die Hard 2 um, and a couple other really good action films from the 90s. Heck yeah, I didn't see this one at the theaters though. I wish I would have. I was pretty young when this one came out. I was like, I think 13 or 14. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, guys, and so now we are down to my last pickup of the day. Is we got Spider-Man Homecoming here on 4K and Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. Picture and sound, HDR. Best Spider-Man ever. You know, I haven't seen this one yet, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um... It got really great reviews. I know the second one had, has just hit theaters not that long ago. And that also got really good reviews. So, this is pretty kick-ass. I was able to get this for pretty cheap. And, uh, which is cool because I'm slowly, you know, catching up on my uh, Marvel films. Because I'm kind of far behind on them. But we get a lot of special features here and whatnot. Which is pretty kick-ass. So anyways, yep, that's Spider-Man Homecoming, and that's the end of my pickups here. I got, you know, you know a lot, pretty close, to, I want to say, to 30 films. A lot of double and triple packs here and whatnot. Some steel books. I was able to complete a lot of my collections, which is pretty cool, and catch up on some of my uh, Marvel movies and whatnot. But yeah, it's been a little while since I've done a big movie pickup video and i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comments below and also again remember uh all digital codes that i get from these i will be giving away on christmas day write it down and uh i'll see you then all right guys i'm out of here and you all have a kick-ass day peace